Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone, who always rule well, teach well, to the hopeful elect, out on the four winds, continuously prophesying the destruction of America, and bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and our fear shall want. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's right. If you truly soul set and sincerely uh, serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, you shall not uh, uh, take part in, in, in all the prosperity that Christianity teaches, all right, or all the prosperity and, and, and good times, all right, that this world teaches. All right. This scripture is totally opposite of this world. And the scripture strictly tells us, all right, that the true man of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right, shall be tried. All right. Shall be tempted. Okay. Shall be tempted in his flesh. Okay. Tried spiritually. Okay. Because you got to be counted worthy. Okay. For Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. He got to put that fire to you. All right. To, to see what you made out of, so to speak. All right. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter two and verse one again. For my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. I'm going to jump down to verse 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire. All right? You can't put wood in the fire. All right? Because it, wood is going to get burnt up, man. All right? To, 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 to 0%. All right? We are that gold that's being tried in this fire. All right, this this fire is these sufferings that we're going through. All right, have to take these temptations that that we get uh, 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 get thrown in our path every day. All right, we have to battle against this this flesh. All right, this spirit got to battle against this flesh that we're in. All right, we're being troubled every minute, every second in this life. All right, except for because we we are that gold man being tried in this furnace of, of fire, man. All right. Which are these these trials that we're going through in this life, man. All right. And the reason for the gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the front of adversity, man. All right. You must be first tried in this fire. All right. To be counted acceptable of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. That's if you're sincerely uh, serving Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. All right. This is not that prosperity doctrine, man. You can't come into this truth. All right. Ready to receive uh, the things of the world or the things that Christianity uh, teaches you. If you come serve uh, God and Jesus, that's the way the things are going to be. No. Let me read it again. Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right. And if you're a true man, a Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, that's what you're going through right now. The furnace of, of adversity, man. All right. Living in this life. All right, and, and, and the man of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, sigh and cry daily, man. All right. Yeah, we, we do sigh and cry daily, man. Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right, because we, we're constantly getting afflicted, constantly getting tempted. All right. Because we're that gold being tried in this fire, man. All right, which is which are these sufferings. All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 3. Verse 12, and it reads, Whose fan isn't, matter of fact, I'm going to jump up. This is Matthew, St. Matthew 3 and 11, and it reads, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. All right, and this is John the Baptist speaking. All right, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I. And this is John the Baptist saying that he that come after him, all right, is mightier than him, even though he, he baptized. So like, even though he baptized with water, it's one that's coming out to him that's going to be mightier than him. All right. And it reads, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. All right. This is Jehovah Shai. All right. Baptizing us, which, which, which is that gold. All right. In the book of Ecclesiastes. All right. He, he, he has baptized us with, with, with the Holy Spirit, which are these words. We have been cleansed by the words of Yahweh Shai, not his wisdom and understanding of his truth, all right? Or the, the, the comfort of supping with us, all right? And the scripture said, and with fire. What's that fire? 
All right. That's that's the temptations. That's that adversity. All right. That's these hard times that, that we're going through. All right. This is what we're being baptized with, man. This is what we're being cleansed with. All right. Not just with the water baptism. All right. But but the baptism of the Holy Spirit and with fire, man. All right. Verse three and twelve. Whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the gardener. But he will burn up the chaff with the unquenchable fire. All right. And that's your how shot. All right. Which is his fan is in his hand. All right. Just like a person uh, take the uh, ancient fan or I can't think of the fan name right now and fan a fire. All right. To make the fire get bigger. That's that. That's that's that fan in your house. Shai's hand. All right. Uh, uh, making that fire in your life, which is your affliction, which is your adversity, which is your hard time. All right. He's making it bigger to what? To purge you, to cleanse you. All right. And, and, and the scripture prepared to a gardener, all right, uh, 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 clearing the chaff, all right, off of his wheat, man, all right? We, we prefer to get purged now and to get cleansed now, all right? By these afflictions, by these, by this torment of this flesh, all right? Then, then, then to, then to uh, uh, get tormented in, in, in an unquenchable fire, all right? Matthew 3 and 12 again, whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor. All right. And, and, and we are the ones, all right, the hopeful elect that he's thoroughly purging. All right. Because we want to be gathered as wheat into the barns, like the scriptures say, and gather his wheat into the barns. All right. We want to be that that wheat that's, that, that get gathered into the barns, which are the, those uh, vehicles of salvation, which the world call them uh, unidentifiable flying objects. All right. But we call them IFOs, identifiable identifiable uh, 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 flying objects, which are vehicles of salvation. All right. And the scripture said, and he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And what's that unquenchable fire, man? That's the two thirds. That's the wicked. The rest of the wicked. All right. Shall be burned with that unquenchable fire, which are the thermonuclear missiles. All right. So we, we prefer to, to go through these hard times right now, man, all right, then, then to uh, uh, get burned in the end, man, with unquenchable fire. We, we rather to get, get purged with these hard times, with this fire of, ad, of adversity from Yahweh Shah, than to get destroyed by Yahweh Shah, all right? Because we, we, we truly hasten the day of Yahweh why Yahweh Shah, all right? That's, that's, that's suffering within itself, man, all right? This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 13, all right, and verse 12. And it reads, Hope the firth make of 